everybody. Sorry for that really annoying intro. <laughs> Welcome to Blue Jays Today, uh, where your boy always has something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Petal. Uh, Nick is away doing the boyfriend duty, taking her out to a theater show and dinner. So round of applause in the chat for Nick tonight. Um, but tonight, I got to react to some Toronto Blue Jays news, everybody. Some of which I really don't want to react to, I'll be honest, because... I hate having to talk about both sides of things, and you'll see what I mean when I get there. But the big news is Whit Merrifield. Maybe his tenure with the Toronto Blue Jays is over. Ooh. And we also got some James Click news. Haven't heard that name in a while. His name kind of popped up in the wildcard series, kind of popped up before the season. But he, he's in the news. And some teams in the AL East are trying to poach him from us? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Can't be doing that. We'll find out all about that and more. Uh, let's get into it, everybody. Before we do, drop a like on the stream if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, folks. We are here. We are live. And we're ready to bring you all this Toronto Blue Jays news. First things first. First things first, everybody. Let's talk about James Click. James Click. Blue Jays executive in the mix for Red Sox general manager position. Now, this was reported earlier today. If you're watching this live and you're watching this after the fact, you know that this is going to change, but let's cover and talk about what happened. So for those who don't know, by the way, this man right here, James Click, he is in charge of baseball strategy for the Toronto Blue Jays. So whatever you want to, <laughs> whatever you want to give that role he comes up with the strategies for the Toronto Blue Jays, all right? But the Boston Red Sox, they fired their general manager, and they're on the hunt for a new one, okay? We're, they're on the hunt for a new one, and they've been looking around the league. They've been looking around. They, they are looking over at, I think it was the Twins GM, their current GM, Thad Levine, and they're looking at James Click. Who just, honestly, we just signed him to the baseball, president of baseball strategy position last off season. And now they're already trying to poach him? Well, no, 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 says James Click. Click withdraws from the search from the Boston Red Sox. Um, yeah, it feels like it would be a really quick tenure with a team in your first year to give up your position. Now, keep in mind, everybody, James Click... He was let go by the Houston Astros. He was the general manager there for three years, okay? And he was let go. So he came over to the Toronto Blue Jays for, you know, essentially, I, I, not to devalue his role with us, but essentially, he stepped down a role to do base, being president of baseball strategy. I mean, hell, it's a better job than I have right now. But still, he stepped down, and I'm assuming eventually he's going to want to become, <coughs> excuse me, He's, he's going to want to become a general manager again. Uh, maybe he doesn't want it, want the Red Sox position. I mean, there's a lot of controversy there. I mean, maybe the general manager wasn't the only problem there in Boston. But he's going to stay with the Blue Jays for right now for at least another year. I don't know his contract at all. Um, now, there's one thing I want to bring up about James Click. Because if he does become a general manager yet again, well, you know... If he gets used to the Blue Jays system, and, you know, there's a lot of heat under Ross Atkins, what if one year Ross Atkins doesn't do it again, and you bring in James Click as your new general manager? I'm just saying. I think it's a good idea. James Click, he's done some very good things with those Houston Astros in his three-year tenure. Look at the moves that he's done. He, When Jordan Alvarez was brought up and he broke out, he wasted no time Sign that guy to a six-year, $115 million extension. In their win-now window, which they've been in for like the last seven years, they signed Verlander to a one-year, $25 million extension. They traded away Miles Straw, who essentially is just a glove. He doesn't really, he's okay with the bat. I think he's kind of below average, to be honest. For Phil Matten and Yanni or Diaz, which was a good trade for them. Uh, this guy, Brandon Weil, thinks that the McCullers extension was bad. I think at the time it was very good. You bring up your young guy, he breaks out. You sign him to a great deal. Yeah, he's injured right now. 
so it doesn't look good. But I think the deal was still a good deal. And then he signed Naris, who ended up being their closer to a two-year, $17 million contract. Or not their closer. I think Heasley. No, was it Heasley? He, Henley? Someone correct me. But Naris stepped in in a big role um, in this past year. Traded. Also, Jose Siri. Uh, ch- this one's out for debate. Chase uh, McDermott to Tampa Bay Baltimore for Tramacini. Jaden Murray. I mean, those were some good moves at the time to help them in their... Uh, postseason push last year, so you can't really fault them, even though they didn't win last year. Oh, no, they did win last year. What am I saying? Yeah, you made moves and you won a rank, so, like, who cares what you do, right? So, he made some great moves in the three years, and I actually, right before I went live for this podcast, I was thinking, like, it would make a lot of sense for the Blue Jays to try and have James Click. If I'm the president, if I'm Mark Shapiro, or maybe I'm even the owner of the Toronto Blue Jays, it would make a ton of sense for me to hang on to James Click, because what did James Click do? With the Houston Astros. He was brought in, what was it, 20, like around the time when the Houston Astros' current players that brought them out of the deep, dark depression of slump in the early 2010s, that that window began to close, right? The George Springer, the Carlos Correa, they still got Alex Bregman, but he was part of that window. You know, the, the Garrett Cole, they were coming out of that window, the, the Grinkies, right? And they needed some new life. And what does he do? He signs Jordan. He brings back Verlander. He's, he signs McCullers to a deal, but helps that bullpen, makes the necessary trades, um, let some guys go, trust his guys, got guys like Kyle Tucker there, still got Alex Bregman, um, Jose Altuve. So we know what I'm, what I'm thinking is that like the Blue Jays window is coming to a close soon, right? As of right now, we haven't made any longer extensions to that lineup. What if you bring in a click to take over Ross Atkins? If he fails again, then you could say, hey, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try out click, and he's he's very good at reassessing a current w- winning team and uh, extending the window. So I'm glad that we didn't get rid of click because I do think that he would uh, be very very great. Uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays, maybe in the future. And it also, shout out to everybody really quick. 101 people watching, guys. Hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button, folks. Uh, I'm reading some of your comments here. McCullough's deal was great. I agree. Hard to predict. Exactly. It was hard to predict that he's going to miss that much time. I agree, Boris. Uh, I love ClickBRGM. I agree. All right, guys. Uh, real quick, before we get to the next segment, we didn't run our Blue Jays Today show this week, folks. I was actually in London. As you guys know, I was doing some videos out there. So uh, I got to give a quick shout out to the sponsor, one of our new sponsors here at Blue Jays today. Time for a quick shout out to Covered Bridge Potato Chips. Made with ingredients from the St. John River Valley and cooked carefully in a local factory, they've got tons of great flavors like smoke and barbecue, sea salt, and sour cream and onion. Get a taste of this delicious flavor cooked the old fashioned way. Now, back to the content. Shout out to Cover Bridge. Uh, we have 56 bags of Cover Bridge in our closet and it is tempting. Folks, I want to eat it. I want to eat it all. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Uh, but let's get to this next uh, segment sponsored by Cover Bridge. Whit Merrifield. Shocking report, says the title of this video. Whit Merrifield done with the Blue Jays. I didn't think that was much of a clickbait title because we know he's done, guys. Like, he's not coming back. And here's the reason. Let's talk about what happened. What, what prompted this video. So apparently Whit Merrifield is already drawing interest around the league already. And the postseason isn't even over yet. And Whit Merrifield is getting interest from none other than a former division rival, the Chicago White Sox, who went 61 and 101. No idea why or how they're doing too bad, but they need desperately a second baseman. And it looks like they are covering Whit Merrifield. Or they, they want to get Whit Merrifield. Um, which I'm cool with. Look, I'm cool with. When, when you have Whit Merrifield coming out and saying, you know, he's shocked, he's confused, he's angry about Jose Burrios' exit. And I totally agree, as we all were. But he in this interview, we already covered this many, many weeks ago, like pretty much two weeks ago. 
He bashed the Blue Jays. I hated the move. I hated that Jose didn't get a chance. I'm putting my team on back on a game, blah, 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 blah. There was definitely some confusion. I just want to know what was communicated to us. I just know what was communicated to us. Uh, the analytics department is pretty heavily involved, like most teams are, blah, blah, blah. I get so frustrated. He's just voicing his opinions. We know this, and we know he's not going to come back for another reason, right? Like, he wasn't performing at the end of the season. I saw people coming and saying, like, he's not too hit with. Keaton Flores Smith talking about it. He wasn't too hit with at the end. He was barely one hit with. He was pop-up wit and slam my back kind of wit. And next year, $18 million. To put in perspective, guys, He's jumping from 6.7, which is absolutely what I'd pay for Whit Merrifield what he, with what he did for us last year. Absolutely, that's a great deal. But jumping to 18 million, now I need now I need like a, an 820 OPS guy for that kind of number. You know what I mean? Like, and Whit's not that dude. He's just not that dude. Uh, yeah, his versatility is great, but he's just not that dude, right? And it's a mutual option. You already know, which means that they both have to agree in this in this uh, continuation of the deal. And you know Witt's not going to accept it. We, and you know the Blue Jays aren't going to accept it. It's just not worth it for either side. So go ahead. Go ahead, Chicago. Take my man, Whit Merrifield. Go ahead and take him. I'm totally cool with it, man. Uh, we have options. Toronto Blue Jays have options. Whoops, I didn't go back. We have options, guys. You have David Schneider. Cool. He, yeah, he, yeah, he struggled at the end, too. What can he do in a full season? I don't know. You got Biggio. Cool. He succeeded. He had a lot of success at the end. Cool. Let's see what he can do uh, in a full year. Yeah, you got Espinal, but I think Espinal's probably his days are a little bit numbered. But, I, you know, that could flip in a heartbeat. I thought Biggio's days were numbered. You know, the more I do this podcast, the more I realize I don't know anything. <laughs> All I know is that there's three viable options at second base. All way cheaper than $18 million. Like hell. Like they could be <laughs> they could be like $15 million cheaper. Um, and I you know, you also have does Addison Barger want to come up? Does Ovis Martinez want to come up? I know they're primar primarily on the left side of the infield, but you never know. So we have options there. There aren't too many second base options right now on the free agent market. So and I think we're gonna be looking mostly for power bats, and you're not going to find too many power bats in the free agent market, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, guys, uh, that are uh, play second base position. So go ahead, walk away. I want I want that $18 million. Let's 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 chop it up and let's give some to, to Kevin. Let's give some to Espinal. Schneider's on a rookie deal. Who cares? Um, and let's move on with our lives. Uh, clearly, he didn't like the, the uh, agreement um, or the, the situation here. He wasn't getting playing time. He was also upset about that, by the way. I didn't even mention that in the little spiel. Upset about the playing time. And um, it is what it is. It is what it is. So moving on. Moving on from Whit Merrifield. I'm cool with it. Uh, we have one more thing to talk about. And I, I, I almost didn't want to bring this up. But I figured we had time. And I, and I wanted to bring this up. And it's been going around all over the internet. And like it, it's been blowing up. So I have to talk about it. Um, it's not the Hunjin Ryu update. I'm actually going to be talking about that tomorrow in a minute monologue, guys. So be t staying tuned at 11 o'clock. We got updates on Hunjin Ryu. It's pretty interesting, actually. Um, you know, during this time of year, you got to you gotta milk the storylines. You know what I mean? But one storyline that I don't really want to milk is, is this one coming up right after this little ad from Batway. Time for a quick shout out to Betway. Betway is the best place to make all of your sports bets on all of your favorite teams. Betway is also in collaboration with iGaming Ontario. Must be 19 years older to participate. And guys, please bet responsibly. Now, back to the content. Eric Swanson is in the news. And I don't think he really... I'm going to say it right now. You all, you already know what I'm going to say. I don't think he deserves to be in the news for this. You can, you can say whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try and cover my bases here. I'm going to try and make sure you see my point of view. Let's switch over. Let's switch over. So Eric Swanson, this is my blog TO. It's on everywhere else. It's on the internet. It's on Twitter. Da -da 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 -da. Toronto Blue Jays pitcher poses with a pile of dead ca Canada geese he shot with his kid. <laughs> and obviously that title <laughs> makes it sound really, really bad. Here's the photo. 
he's out hunting. It's hunting season. And he's with his kid. And he's posing on Instagram. Swanee Pops on Instagram. Um, now, a lot of people were really upset. And a lot of people, well, actually probably most people, I think, were probably not upset. Um, just there was very split. I mean, the internet can be very deceiving on who's upset, who's not upset. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right here. Um, look, he's if you if you're an animal rights person, totally understand where you're coming from. You probably don't like to see, you know, animals being killed and posted on social media. And if you are a I believe in what the law is and traditions in U.S. and Canada, which you have the right to hunt um, during certain times of the year, which is if you have a license and this is what it is. Uh, and he's doing that. Uh, also, I don't. I think this wasn't even in Canada, too. I think it was just geese, Canadian geese, uh, which in America are just geese. Um, but what I'm saying, I look... Personally, I come, my family is a hunting family. I don't personally, I've never chosen to hunt personally because I, I, I don't really want to, I don't really want to do that. It's just personal choice. I feel no ways about it. Okay. I just want to show you where I'm coming from. So I understand the fam, my family side of things. I understand Eric Swanson. It's his family. He decides to take his kid out, show him, you know, where, where, um, where you get your food from, you show the value of the life of animals and like, Etc. 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 And they're you know, whatever. He's practicing his right to do that with his family and his traditions. Okay, and I hate that I even have to talk about this. On, honestly, folks, because I, I want to talk about baseball. You know what I mean? Like, like this was so blown up today. So I have to talk about it because it's Blue Jays today. But I want to talk about you know Eric Swanson's great season and and how he's going to impact the bullpen. But no, I got to talk about. I got to talk about how he's hunting birds. Like, look, you you have full, absolute right to disagree with what he's doing. It's your right to disagree. Not saying it's not. It's your right to go out and defend him. Totally. Also, I just kind of skipped this. Eric Swanson did come out later and explained the whole thing, saying, I'm an, I'm an avid hunter, fisherman, and will always will be. For the people who are asking me why I have my son with me, I'm teaching him a very important life lesson. The beef, the vents, and potlery, potlery, excuse me, I don't even, probably mess that up. Fish, fruits, and vegetables all come from somewhere, not just a grocery store. So yeah, no, I get it. Um, I don't even really want to comment on this further, to be honest, folks. My, my thoughts are, we have no news right now. Toronto Blue Jays, or, you know, the media is looking for news. Hell, I can relate to that. I'm looking for news. I had news, but I, I also react to the media. I Or I react to the popular media. I mean, you for the, those OGs here, no. Like, I react to the analysts. I react, you know, same with Nick. I react to um, what players are saying. I react to what articles are saying about the Blue Jays. And let's just move on, guys. Come on. I just want to talk about baseball. I just want to talk about baseball. And that, that's it, man. Um, so, yeah. Voice your opinions in the comments down below, guys. I think the big takeaway here is Whit Merrifield, he's done. All right. He's out of here. And um, you also got uh, James Click, not out of here. So that's super cool. Maybe he's the future general manager of the Toronto Blue Jays. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on that. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys. Go Chase, go!